from around the globe, it's theCUBE, with digital coverage of AWS reInvent 2020, sponsored by Intel, AWS, and our community partners. Hello everyone, welcome back to theCUBE's virtual coverage of AWS reInvent Virtual 2020. Um, it's not an in-person event this year, it's remote, it's virtual. The Cube is virtual and our guests and our interviews will be remote as well. And so we're here covering the event for the next three weeks. Throughout the next three weeks, we'll be weaving in commentary from the Cube. Check out thecube.net and all of our coverage. And here at AWS, we have special featured programming. We got a great segment here talking about big data in the cloud, governance, data lakes, all that good stuff. Rick Tam Daniels, Vice President of Strategic Ecosystems and Technology for Informatica. And Rick Turnock, Head of Enterprise Data Services Invesco, customer of Informatica. Uh, welcome to theCUBE. Hey John, thanks for having us. So Rick, with a K from Informatica, I want to ask you first. We've been, we've been covering uh, the company journey for many, many years, always been impressed with the focus on data and specifically cloud and all the things that you guys have been announcing over the years have been spot on the mark. You know, AI with Claire, you know, making things cloud native, all that's kind of playing out. Now with the pandemic, reInvent, that's the story here. Building blocks with high level services, cloud native, but data is the critical piece again, more machine learning, more AI, more data management. What's your take on this year's reInvent? Well, absolutely, John. And again, we're always excited to be here at reInvent. We've been here since the, the very first one. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I think you tapped on a, into a couple of key trends there, especially in the era of the, the global pandemic here. There's so many challenges that so many enterprises are experiencing. I think that the, the big surprise has been that has actually translated into a tremendous amount of, of demand for digital transformation and, and cloud modernization in particular. So we've, we've seen a huge uptick in our cloud relationships with, with AWS when it comes to transformational architectures, solutions around data and analytics and using data as a fundamental asset for digital transformation. And so some of those solution areas are things like data warehouse modernization of the cloud or end-to-end uh, -end data governance. That's a huge topic as well for many enterprises today. Before coming into reInvent, I had a chance to sit down exclusive interview with Andy Jassy. I just spoke with Matt Garman, who's now heading up sales and marketing, who ran EC2. Rick, you're a customer of Informatica. Their big talking point to me and validation to the trends is, it's, it's, there's no excuse to go slow anymore uh, because there's a reason to go fast because there's consequences and the pandemic has highlighted that you got to move faster. Otherwise, you know, you're going to be on the wrong side of history and, and necessity is the mother of all invention. Okay, great. I buy that by the way. So I have no complaints on the talking point there from Amazon Web Services. The problem is you got to manage the data <laughs> It's a, to go fast. The gas in the tank is data. And if it's screwed up, it's not going to go well, right? It's like putting gas in a car. So this is where I see the data lake coming into the cloud and, and all the benefits and look at the successes of companies. The cloud is a real enabler. What's your take on this? The importance of, of data governance because cloud scale is here. People want to go faster. Data is the, data is the, the key thing. Yeah, the, the, the data governance was a critical component when we started our, our enterprise data platform and looking at you know, how can we build a modern day architecture with scale, bringing our enterprise data, but do it in a governed fashion. So uh, when we did it, we, we kind of looked at you know, what, what are critical partners, how can we apply data governance and the full catalog capabilities of knowing who the, what data is coming in, identifying it, and then really controlling the quality of it as it, it, it to, to, to meet the needs of the organization. And it was a critical component for us because um, typically it, it's been difficult to get act, access to that right data. And, and as we look in the future and even current needs, um, we really need to understand our data, bring the right data in and make it easily accessible and, and governance and, 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 and quality of that is a critical component of it. I want to just follow up with that if you don't mind, because you know, I, you know, I've done so many of these interviews. I've been on the block for now 30 years in the industry. I've seen the waves come and go. And you see a lot of these mandates, you know, data governance, we I need data governance from the ivory tower or you hear everything's got to be a service. But when you peel back and look under the hood to make that happen, it's complicated. You got to have put things in place and, and, and it's got to be set up properly. You got to do your work. How important it is to have, and well, what's under the covers to this? Because governance, yeah, it's a talking point, I get that. But to make it actually happen well, 
it's hard. Yeah, we, we started really with the operating model from, from the start. So I, I kind of took over data governance seven years ago and, and, and had a governed global architecture that's been around for 40 years. And, and, and it was hard. So this was really our shot in time to get it right. Um, so we did an operating model, a, a governance model, and, and really ingrained it through the whole build and execution process. And, and so it was part with technology uh, and, and it was foundational to, to the process to, to really deliver it. So it wasn't governance from a governance say, it was really part of our operating model and, and process to, to, to build this out and really succeed at it. Rick, on the Informatica side, I got to get your take on the new uh, solution you guys announced, uh, the Govern Data Lake, I think it was solution. Um, does this tie into okay. that? How does, tell us first about, take a minute to explain the announcement and how does this tie in? Yeah, absolutely, John. Well, so I think you take a step back and look at, the, we talked about some of the drivers of why companies are investing in cloud data lakes. And I think what it comes down to is when you think about that, that core foundation of data and analytics, you know, they're really looking at, you know, how do we go ahead and create tremendous, a tremendous leap forward in terms of their ability to leverage data as an asset. And but again, as we talked about, one of the biggest challenges is, is trust around the data. And what this solution does though, is it really looks to say, okay, first and foremost, let's create that foundation of trust, not just for the cloud data lake, but for the entire enterprise to ensure that when we start to build this new architecture, one, we understand the data assets that are coming in at the very get-go, right? It's, 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 it's much harder to add data governance after the fact, but you put it in up front, uh, you understand your existing data landscape. And once that data is there, you make sure you understand the quality of the information, you cleanse the data. You also make sure you put it under the right data management policies. There's so many policies that enterprises are subject to now like CCPA and GDPR. They have to be concerned about consumer privacy and being able as part of your governance foundational layer to make sure that you're in compliance as data moves through your new architectures is fundamental to having that, that end trust and confidence to be able to use that data uh, downstream. So our solution looks to do that, that end to end uh, across a, a cloud environment. And again, not just the cloud environment, but the full enterprise as well. Uh, one thing I do want to, touch on, if you don't mind, is, is on the AI side of things and the tooling side of things, because I think data governance has been around a while, as you said, it, it's not that it's a new concept, but how do you do it efficiently in today's world? Yeah. And this is where Informatica is focused on a concept of data 4.0, which is the use of metadata and, and AI and machine learning and, and intelligence to make this process much, much more efficient. Yeah, that's a good point. Rick from, there's two Ricks here, so I got it. One's with a K, one is a C, and CK. So Rick, CK in, from Invesco customer. I want to just check that with you because um, obviously you're a customer of Informatica, but they brought up a good point about governance. And I saw this movie before, we've all seen this before. People just slap on solutions or tooling to a pre-existing architecture. You see that with security. You know, now it's, you can't have a conversation without saying, oh, security is going to be baked in from the beginning. Uh, okay, cool, I get that, there's no, no debate there. Governance, same kind of thing. You know, you're hearing this all, over and over again. If you don't bake governance into the beginning of everything, you're going to be screwed. Okay, so how important is that foundation of trust for this that, piece? It, it's critical and, and to do it at the beginning and, and, and right, so, so you're profiling the data, you're defining entitlements and who has access to it. You're defining data quality rules that you can validate that. You define the policies, is there PII data? All of that, as you do that from the start, then you have a well-governed and documented data catalog and, and taxonomy that has the policies and the controls in place to allow that to use. If, if, if you do it after the fact, that then you're always really catching up. So a part of our process and policies and where the really Informatica tools delivered for us it, it is to make it part of that process and, and, and to, to use that as we continue to build out our, our data platform with the, the, the quality controls and, and, and all the governance processes built in. I got to ask you on your, on your journey, you said seven years ago, you took over the practice. You were probably right in the middle of the sea change when everyone kind of woke up and said, hey, you know, Amazon, you go back seven years, look at Amazon where they were to where they are today. Okay, significantly strong then, uh, um, total bellwether now in terms of value uh, opportunity. So how did you look at the cloud migration? How do you think about the cloud architecture? Because I'm sure, and I'd love to get your story here of how you thought about cloud in the midst of architecting the data foundational platform there? 
Yeah, we're a global company that 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 had architecture, and we we grew by acquisition. So a lot of our data architecture was on-prem. Um, difficult, really, to pull that enterprise data together to meet the business needs. So, so when we started this, we really wanted to leverage cloud technology. We wanted a modern stack. We wanted scale, flexibility, agility, security, all, all the things that the cloud brought us to. So, so we did a search and 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 looking at that and, and looked at competitors, but really. Uh, landed on Amazon just by, by core capabilities and, and scale they have, innovation, and, and, and just the services to, to, to bring a lot what we were looking at and, and, and really uh, deliver on, on, on what we wanted from a platform. Why Informatica and AWS? Why the combination? Can you share um, mm -hmm. some of the reasons why you went with uh, Informatica with AWS? Yeah, we, we again, when we started this off, we looked at, at the competitors, right? And we were using IDQ, so we, we had an informatic product on-prem, uh, but we looked at a lot of the different governance competitors and, and really the, 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 the integrated platform that, that Informatica brings to us was the key deliverer, right? So we, we can really have the technical metadata with EDC and enterprise data client catalog, scan our sources, our file, understanding the data and lineage of what it is. Then we can tie that into Axon and, and the governance tools to really define business glossary terms. We, we're very critical of, of defining all our key data elements, business glossary. And then we can see where that is by linking that to the technical metadata. So we know where our PII data, where, where are all our data and how it flows both technically and from a business process. Uh, and then the IDQ, so, so when we define and understand the data we want to bring in the lake and how we want to conform it to make it easily accessible, we can define data quality rules within the governance tool and then execute that with, with IDQ and, and really have a, a well-defined data quality process that, that really takes it from governance in theory to governance and in, in really execution. That's awesome. Hey, you're making, you're using the data, using the cloud, you're getting everything you need out of it. That's the whole idea, isn't it? Yeah. That's good stuff. Rick uh, at Informatica, let, tell us about what's going on. You mentioned data 4.0. Uh, I think people should pay attention to some of the interviews I've done with your team. Uh, they're online also. It's part of that next gen, next level thinking. Yeah. Um, Air at reInvent, what should customers pay attention to that you guys are doing? Great customer example here of cloud scale. What's the story? for reInvent this year for Informatica? Well, well, John, I think it comes down to when when customers think about their, their cloud journey, right? And the difference, especially with their data centric workloads and priorities and, and initiatives, all the different hurdles that they need to overcome. I think Informatica, we're uniquely positioned to help customers address all those different challenges. And you heard Rick speak about a whole bunch of those along the way. And, and I think that you participate in reInvent, first of all, I just welcome folks to they want to learn more about our data governance solution, please come by our virtual booth. Uh, we also have a great interactive experience that encourage folks, encourage folks to check out. And they, one of the key components of our solution is our enterprise data catalog and attendees at reInvent can actually get hands-on with our data catalog through the demo jam, uh, the AWS demo jam that's part of reInvent. So I'd encourage folks to check that out as well, just to see what we're talking about in action. Awesome. Final question for you guys. Um, as reInvent's going on, a lot of stores are popping up. You're seeing uh, obviously the same trends, machine learning, and you know, Outpost is booming. So cloud operations is clearly here. Uh, Rick from uh, in, uh, Invesco, what do, you, what do you think the most important story is for your peers as they're here? It's a learning conference. Um, you guys have seven years in the cloud working together with Informatica. In your opinion, what should be people be paying attention to as they looked at this pandemic and what they got to get through and then coming out of it with the growth strategy. Um, it's all going to be more about the data. There's more data coming in, more sources, IOT data, certainly the work at home. Um, it's causing its workloads, workplace, workflows, everything's changed, the future of work. What's your advice to peers out there on, on what to pay attention to and what to think about? Uh, I, I, we, we really started with a top-down strategy, right? To, to really the vision in the future and, and what, what do we want to get out of our, our data? Data is just data, right? But it's the information, it's the analytics, it's really delivering value for our clients, shareholders and, and employees to really do their job, simplify our architecture. So, so really defining that vision of what you want and, and approach and, and then executing on it, right? So, 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 
Um, how, how do you build it in, in, in a way to make it flexible and scalable? And, and how do you build an operating and governance model really to deliver on it? Because you know, garbage in is garbage out. And, 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 and you really got to have those processes, I think, to, to really get the full value of, of, of what you're building. Get the data out there at the right place, the right time, the right quality data. It's a lot, of, a lot more involved now and you need to be agile. And I think agile data is a way to go. And, and the new tools and capabilities, it makes it easier, right? It, it makes it doable. And I think that's what cloud and the informatica tools, right? We're, we're in the past, it, you know, it was people hard coding and, and, and doing it right. And the, 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 the capability that the, that cloud and, and these tools give us makes it really achievable. You know, we have an old saying here in, the, in our CUBE team, you know, if there's a problem, you got to see if it's important and then look at the consequences of not solving that problem, quantify the value of, of solving or not solving that problem and then and look and deploy solutions to do it. I think now with the data, you can actually do that. You can say, this is a quant the yeah. consequences of not doing this or doing this have a quantifiable value. And I, I just love that because it brings the whole ROI back to the table. And you know, it's a dark art. It used to be, you mentioned the old days, you know, you got to do all this custom work. It was like a dark art. Oh yeah, the ROI calculation payback. I mean, it was a moving train. That's the way it used to be. Not and, anymore. And you you got to do it to survive, really. If you're not doing it, you, you know, I don't know. Necessity is the mother of all inventions. I think now more than ever, data is going to be the key. Rick, final word from Informatica. What should people pay attention to? Yeah, I mean, I think as you mentioned there, data is obviously a critical asset, right? And, and to your point with cloud, you can not only realize ROI quickly, but you can actually iterate so much, so much more quickly where you can get that ROI immediately or you can validate that ROI, you can adjust your approach. Uh, but again, from an Informatica standpoint, we are, we are seeing such a huge uptake in demand for customers who want to go to the cloud, who are modernizing and we're investing every day, we're investing heavily in how do we make sure that customers can get there quickly, they can maximize the ROI from their data assets and we're doing it with all things data management from traditional data integration all the way to the data governance, all the capabilities we talked about today. You know, congratulations. That's the benefit of investing in a platform and having a set of out of the box tooling with SaaS platform as a service, really it can enable success. And I think with the pandemic, it's pretty obvious who's taking advantage of it. So congratulations and uh, continued success. Thanks for coming on, appreciate it. Rick Turnock, head of data service, enterprise data service at Invesco, customer of Informatica, sharing his insight, great insight there. Necessity is the mother of all inventions, baking it in from the beginning, data, governance, foundational, it's not a bolt on, that's the message. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE, thanks for watching. <laughs>